What if you could legally extract Amazon's information directly to be able to find new product opportunities and also analyze the current opportunities that already exist or potentially the top competitors of yours on Amazon using their data directly? Hi, my name is Aaron Farrell with Sellers Arena. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Product Opportunity Explorer and how you can leverage it to your advantage in order to not only launch products, but also optimize your current product catalog. Stay tuned. All right, so hopping right into it here, we're currently at the Product Opportunities Explorer screen. And in order to get to this, um, all you're gonna have to do is go up to Growth and then go to Product Opportunity Explorer. And once you select that, um, initially you're actually gonna be presented by screen that's going to show maybe like different categories that you can expand on given your current categories that you sell on Amazon. But if you're looking for potentially like to get into a new market, you can also use these different categories inside of Amazon to kind of explore all around different categories. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to go about kind of going through the different categories and selecting a category and then dissecting the information once you've selected it. So basically what you do is you just click up here on find opportunities by category and I've already got some stuff selected so I'm just gonna X out of all those and then we've got all of these different potential categories that we can click in. So before I had selected sporting goods and then exercise and fitness and then I went to accessories just to see you know kind of what's out there because we're getting into warmer weather, especially here in the Midwest. And really, uh, you know, a lot more people are starting to go to the gym with the spring coming and then uh, summer coming up very, very soon as of recording this video. So interested to see, you know, what trends uh, or what things are kind of picking up. So once you've selected that, you just hit C category. And all of a sudden, now we're presented with the screen here that basically matches the niches in the category category of accessories in the sports and outdoors uh, overall category. But basically, we're presented with all these different customer needs. So these are some top search terms. So for example, fitness journal, and we're looking at workout journal, fitness planner, workout planner. These are different keywords that people are actually searching directly from the Amazon data. That's showing you, you know, like how they're finding this. And essentially it's even telling you the number of search volumes. So over the past year, how many searches were there? So just in this one alone, there's over 300,000 searches. Basically it's looking at to the, the amount of growth. So even in the past year, this particular fitness journal category or, or the search volume for it at least has grown almost 15 percent and just over the past 90 days up over 104 percent as expected because as i was mentioning it's getting warmer people want to get back into shape they're looking for these types of products so if you're launching you might even consider that you know a lot of times with uh, different products they have different seasons that they work in better for you know with, with like new year's at the very beginning you've got a huge spike of people that are looking to get you know back into shape and stuff and then a lot of times you'll see people fall off towards february probably but then as it starts to go to march april may and the weather especially in the north starts warming up you start to see a huge increase of people that are actually now concerned with trying to get back in better shape so they can look better when they go out to the pool or to the beach or whatever but all that to say you know right here it's just we're seeing it in the data from amazon directly that there's big search volume growth in this particular category with the exception of the stomach wrap that's a little bit down in the past 90 days but the other thing is it's showing you the number of top click products so this is very valuable because on a fitness journal you know this data really kind of makes sense to me because people have different preferences of what they want the fitness journal to look like maybe they want certain words on you know the front of the fitness journal or they just look are looking at the overall designs that are available out there so they're really window shopping a little bit 
that when they're searching these search terms, you know, elbow wraps for weightlifting. I know for myself, as someone that, you know, does weightlift, I have my preferences of different gear that I will buy, you know, but I usually buy it because I like the color, I like the particular design, so there's no real rhyme or reason, and that's probably why you're seeing a little bit more, you know, top click products. Lifting straps, that's another one. Actually, I just recently bought some, and I looked through a bunch of different products, but they're claiming here based on the Amazon data, there's only really about 11 total products that are actually being clicked through across all these different keywords. So the next thing you can do is really start to dig into this. So let's go into these lifting straps, for example. We can see the overall search volume, the volume growth, the average price. So let's say you're trying to launch a, a new product, or you're trying to see kind of like what you could pay on a new product in terms of the wholesale price. You can kind of take a look at the average price for the market and see if you're able to source something after Amazon fees that's going to actually make sense. Now, that's not to say you can't launch a higher dollar product or potentially even a lower dollar product, but uh, it's just saying, you know, overall, this is about what people are paying. So obviously there's going to be some variance in there, but that's just uh, kind of a good thing to know just to kind of ballpark what you could pay, you know, wholesale before Amazon fees. And you can really do that calculation to see if it's going to be profitable for you based on the quantity that you're able to purchase. So the next thing I'm going to do is just kind of go through this section so we've got all the different ASINs here and we're actually able to see you know based on these products which ones have the highest click share so basically when people are searching for this lifting straps which one are they clicking on so if you can see here this is an incredible 38 percent so almost 40 percent now we can rank it from highest to lowest or lowest to highest but that's actually the very highest one in the category you can see the average selling price is a lot cheaper so that's probably why they're getting a majority of the click share and then you know the next one's down they're definitely a little more expensive so uh you can see the total number of reviews average customer rating the different bsrs uh best seller rank if you don't know bsr and yeah the average number of sellers or vendors for that particular product so a lot of products have resellers on them that's why we're seeing several of those but you know in many cases if you're the private label seller you're only going to have one seller or vendor on a particular listing so now the next thing is search terms so you know based on this product of lifting straps it says lifting straps right here i was just making sure this is across the whole product here for the lifting straps straps but the individual search terms you can see here in the past 90 days, just the words lifting space straps, they had about 104,000 actual searches. So probably about 30,000 searches per month. If you averaged it out, we can look at volume growth quarter over quarter, year over year on the search volume and then the different click shares. But then, yeah, basically on these search terms, you can even get as granular as figuring out once people are searching for lifting straps how many of them are actually converting into a customer. So this could be very important, especially for paid advertising, even on your own current product, if you're looking at you know, your competitors or if you're looking in general for a current product that you're selling, you can use this data specifically to see which one has the highest conversion rate and then maybe try to put more focus or attention on that particular keyword. Now, this one, Harbinger Lifting Strap, that's a brand name, so you obviously would not want to, or you could target that in PPC, but the reason why the conversion rate's probably higher is because people are actually buying the Harbinger brand. But if it's something that's more generic, such as weight lifting, Lifting straps for men, you know, we've got about 5,714 searches in 90 days, so maybe like a thousand or 1,500. But like this is getting about 14% conversion rate on that particular keyword. So you've got these different straps that you have available, and you can see the top three clicked products. You know, so if I want to look at this one as an example you know i can even open this up and it's going to show me the listing and the next thing i just want you to think about as well is like okay so this helium 10 here is giving it a 10 out of 10 now obviously you got to go through the photos but looks like they've really got some good photos they've got a good video they've got different colors here 
Uh, they probably have A+. plus. Yep, they've got A-plus content. Uh, so, yeah, just – and also a lot of uh, – well, decent amount of reviews, but it's basically number two and risk support reps. So very high bestseller rank on this particular product. But what you want to really think about is, okay, on these products that are – essentially getting a lot of click share you know once you're seeing this which ones are getting the most click share that one's not even the most you know across all the different products but it is there it was one of the uh, highest for a particular keyword so different products you know can have higher click through rates or click share depending on the search term but this one you know when you're looking at the products tab it's breaking down across the whole category which ones are doing the best in terms of click share so you really can just try to reverse engineer i don't know what's going on here if you already have you know a product in this niche or if you're just searching to find product opportunities to expand your catalog you can also use this tool as i was mentioning but this insights is really really cool so i want to make sure to go over this as well basically it's going to show the number of products that have 80 percent of the clicks so you know even though maybe there was uh 30 products that got clicked only 11 of them you know in this particular instance today actually got 80 percent of the clicks yesterday or in the past 90 days it was 15 on average and then in a year on average about 12 so you can really see that you know even on a lot of different search terms there's really only a select number of top winners top people in that market but the other thing is you can look at you know top five products click share you can look at the top 20 product click share and yeah average number of reviews kind of like what we were looking at before you can get all this different information here this one's really interesting too it's the number of new products launched so basically in the past 180 days we can see that no one's actually launched a new product in this category and no one's launched a successful product however they determined that i'm not 100 percent on that just yet but then if you look at the number of new products in a year there's two and the number that were quote unquote successful launches were also to, you know, it's also telling you average out of stock rates. So across the catalog, how many people are running out of stock frequently? The other thing is average, you know, selling partner and age. So it says the average amount of time selling partners offering the current products and the niche have offered at least one of the products in that niche. So, you know, these guys have on average gone or they've been in the industry for quite some time in this particular category average brand age also for this particular brand um, in this niche it's a little bit less let's see what the saying the average amount of time brands of the current products in the niche have had at least one product in this niche so yeah basically you can just really kind of take a look and see how competitive these niches are and then the other thing is to look at is this average product listing quality so amazon's really starting to give you growth opportunities. I've made videos of uh, this in the past, but basically it's looking at your listing and giving you an overall ranking or quality score on your listing based on probably photos and whether or not you have A-plus content, if you have video, things like Helium 10, if you're not familiar with their listing analyzer, things like that, it checks on the listing to see how complete they are and really kind of gives you an idea of how well established those brands actually are you know maybe on a keyword that's not as competitive you might have an average product listing score of 50 out of 100 versus this one which is 91 out of 100 meaning that maybe there's not as many big brands in that particular category you know and the weightlifting industry and uh, with these types of products there's a lot of really established brands out there and it is pretty highly competitive so everyone that's in the industry make sure that they have the top list listings, the top tactics, and, you know, the top optimizations so they can leverage at least, you know, the best way possible to succeed in that particular niche or industry. So really that kind of breaks down, you know, the overall information here. There's really a lot to go through. So I kind of suggest you know, going in here and just poking around on different things, seeing what you can learn, seeing different things that you can actually find out in your particular niche and really just starting to do some research because you're going to be able to ultimately find 
really, really good information that you need to either improve your current brand or B, launch a new brand, you know, even possibly in a new category altogether. So I hope this video has been informative for you guys. I know it's a lot of information all at once. I'm going to also link down below the help article that you can get to by just clicking here and learn more. But I'm going to link this for you guys as well because it really breaks down, you know, all the different information that you were seeing on my screen as I was going through it and just gives you a good explanation of how everything works. So that way you can truly understand all the different metrics, all the different information that you saw on your screen. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful, if you could just go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell because we're just going to continue to drop as much value as we can for you on this channel. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.